Okay, so let's move on to the podcast show page. I'm just going to start from the podcast page that we designed in the previous video. Um, and we are going to use this as a template for our next page. So let's just uh, do a save as, and I'll do this uh, as a podcast show page. All right, and let's save that. All right, so let's refer back to our wireframe. Here we have a banner, but it's not an image uh, background. We have a title, description, then we have some breadcrumbs, and then we have a image uh, for the episode, a title, description, and then those are repeated. So let's get started. Let's go back to Photoshop. I am going to, well first let's just delete this, whoops. Let's deselect those. Let's uh, delete that first row and then zoom in. And I'm going to keep the title. Uh, let's go back into the banner folder and create a new shape. Let's go to our color scheme actually first and I'm going to grab this dark color. Let's make a new shape and now let's put it behind the title and then change the fill to be the color that we just selected and no stroke on it. All right, and then let's delete that image for now. And then uh, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So since we don't have any text to use for the description just yet, I like to use a site called uh, Hipsum, which is hipster uh, lorem ipsum text. It's uh, pretty great. It generates a bunch of hipster, well, lorem ipsum. So I'm going to grab a few lines of this and copy that over. I'm going to go back to Photoshop. Then I'm going to grab this and let's uh, change the font size down quite a bit. Command T to bring up the options and let's uh, paste in that new text. Way too much letting on there. So let's tweak that. That's still a bit too large. So that looks pretty good. Uh, but I do want to change the font color. So I'm going to grab the color and select the background. And then let's just make it a bit lighter. Let's make it like a bluish gray color. That looks pretty good. Cool. And let's make sure this is centered vertically between the uh, top and bottom. That looks pretty good for now. Uh, again, we'll make it perfect when it's inside the code. Okay, so next thing we want is if we refer back to the wireframe is breadcrumbs. So we are on the podcast show page. So we'd probably want the name of the podcast and a link back to the uh, all podcasts. So I'm going to grab this text, uh, delete that title. I'm just going to say um, all podcasts and then do a little space backslash. And then what should this podcast be called? Um, I'll just pick one from the other one, the rocket ship podcast. And let's uh, change the title to be the name of the podcast that we are on. So this will be the Rocket Ship Podcast. Looks pretty good. Let's put it on here. So I uh, want to differentiate this a bit. Let's uh, bring up the font options and change this from regular to bold. And then uh, Command T and we're going to scale down the font size quite a bit because we don't really want this to take up too much visual space. Let's make sure this is whoops, centered. Beautiful. And then uh, let's also add a line to make sure it's its own block. So I'm going to grab the line tool under the rectangle tool and just uh, drag one across. And then let's uh, drop the opacity just to change the color and then we will pick the color we want um, for the code. That looks pretty good. All right, so the next thing is the episode and the episode titles. So we need an image, uh, the title, and the description. So 
So let's go back to Photoshop. I went ahead and downloaded uh, a bunch of cover images that the Rocket Ship podcast uses. I hope they don't mind me uh, stealing some of their images for this demo. I'm not sure why these two are not the same size. I'm going to delete those. We'll just use these ones for now. That looks good. Okay, and we don't actually need this stuff anymore. I'm just going to keep one of them, actually, just so we have the uh, title. Let's delete that as well, just so we have this background and the text in case we want to use it. Shrink it down. So I don't think this needs to take up as much spacing as the podcast page. So I think we could get away with just using the two center columns uh, and then loop through all the podcast episodes. So let's go back to this. So we have an image, a title, and a description. So I'm going to grab one of the images. Let's move these out of the way for now. Let's grab a title. This image uh, seems far too big. Let's go back to the rocket ship site. And I'm just going to copy their title and their description. Let's uh, bump up the letting a bit so it's not as tight. So one thing with the description, we obviously don't want to have the full description for each one because it could be any number of lengths. So what we are going to do when we get into the code is limit the uh, character length to X number of characters. And we'll do this, uh, we'll figure this out when we get into the actual code, uh, probably around 150 characters or so. But for now, let's just uh, act like we are already limiting it. Whoops. So that looks pretty good. This image, um, I want to put a border radius on this image. So what I will do is I'm going to select the ring rectangle rounded corner. And I'm going to draw one the same size as this image. And then all I'm going to do is hit command and click on the file of that rectangle. Then let's trash that rectangle. And I'm going to put a mask around that image to give it the, the border radius. Cool. So that looks pretty good. I, I think that might be a little too much text. Maybe not. Oh, and then after it's uh, the character length is limited, there would be a dot, dot, dot at the end. All right, then let's bring up the guides. Make sure this is centered. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Let's uh, copy this same line. Hit Command-T to uh, transform it. And then I'm holding Shift to drag. Then let's zoom in a bit. I'm going to grab the end going to hit Option and Shift, and then drag it in. That way it does it on both sides. I want a bit more spacing like so. Let's bring up the title. That looks pretty good. Now let's uh, duplicate that. So that looks good. Uh, we don't need any other links or anything else because uh, the edit and the destroy links, that we will have those in the dashboard. Uh, but a random user does not need to see those, uh, nor should they. So uh, for now, we will just have the title, the image, and the description. So I'm going to duplicate this a few more times. Then let's uh, delete this bottom one. And then what I'm going to do is grab and select both these, 
and then I'm going to highlight the radius for that, delete that layer by dragging it to the trash and put a mask on this image. And then I will do the same for all of these. And then let's drag up the pagination. This actually may be a bit small. Let's uh, grab everything and scale it up. I'm holding shift and option to keep the aspect ratios the same. That looks pretty good. Don't really need anything more. So we have the um, so we have the title of the podcast. Uh, this would be the same uh, design for each podcast show page. So we have the name, the breadcrumbs, the description, and then uh, we're going to loop through all of the episodes, and then have a pagination for each of the or after it gets to X number of episodes. This looks pretty good. One last thing I want to do before we stop is first let me crop this in a bit. Um, I'm going to grab this pagination and I'm going to bring it up top and then make sure to move it up into the banner layer or the banner folder, I'm sorry. Or at least above the banner folder. Whoops. So if we have a uh, in our planning phase, we talked about adding iTunes or Stitcher links and Podbay. So I think it'd be cool to have those here as a little button. So I'm going to say iTunes. Then let's change this like so. I like the idea of matching it. On the home page, we did a full half circle uh, for the button. So I'm going to do the same here. Let's uh, bump up the radius. That looks pretty good. The font size may be a little too large. And the button actually may be a little too large as well. Because we don't want it to take up a uh, visual priority over the title or the description even. But I do like having it pop out a bit. So let's uh, copy both of those and change this to Stitcher. And then maybe do another one for pod bay. Pod bay. Hit command enter to get out of that. Then let's uh, grab all three of these buttons and the text. Whoops. There we go. And bring up the guides uh, by hitting command colon. And let's center this. That's looking pretty good. So let's zoom out a bit and get a full view. Uh, let's move up the title and the description. That looks a lot better. So visually, the visual hierarchy, I would land on the, the title and then you'd go to the description. Uh, based on the color, you'd probably look at these buttons next. And then you probably scan through the various episodes um, possibly landing on the breadcrumbs, but those are probably the least important uh, aspect to this page. So overall, I think this is a nice design. And uh, let's now move on to the episode page where we'll add the full title description um, as well as the MP3 player. <laughs>